Akari just released their P2 motion and occupancy sensor. It comes with matter support using thread, but sticks to the same outside design as the P1. Well, it appears the same as the P1. This change makes the sensor fundamentally different in a number of ways, including that you can just add it straight into Apple Home. No Akara hub required. But is it better than other matter or Akara options on the market? for what you need to do. I'm Eric Wielander, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we talk all about Apple and smart home tech, so if those are things you're into, consider subscribing. Thanks to Akara for sending me this motion sensor free of charge before the release date so I could check it out for you guys with no strings attached. This video is not sponsored. Akara has long been known for their great affordable sensors that work with their hubs using a wireless standard called Zigbee. If you invest in one of their hubs, it opens the door to a whole range of Akara's small and inexpensive Zigbee sensors and accessories, including my favorite, their mini switch button. But more on that another day. Of course, all the cool kids in the smart home space are moving to use Matter, especially Matter over Thread. And last year, Akara released their first matter over thread sensor with their P2 door and window sensor. Now, this one is slightly larger than their Zigbee door and window sensors, but it works really well. And after Akara sent me one, when I needed a new door and window sensor in another door later that year, I bought another with my own money. The P2 motion sensor is another product in this lineup. And if you aren't familiar with this thread wireless standard, it's relatively new, but built for the smart home and is one of two primary communication methods for the new Matter smart home standards. So in order to support any of these Matter over thread sensors, you need to have something to connect all your thread devices back to your Wi-Fi network. This is called a thread border router. Now, as long as you have a HomePod mini, a HomePod 2, or certain Apple TVs, you should be just fine. Akara also has a new hub on the way with the M3 that also works as a thread border router, but that's not available at the time of recording this video. But that's also an interesting part about this device is that because it's matter over thread, Akara's apps and hubs aren't involved at all. The advantage is that you can just add this sensor straight into Apple's home app or your other smart home platform of choice. You don't need to go out and buy an Akara hub, but that also might be a downside. If you're looking to use this inside of Akara's app with Akara automations, you're gonna have to wait until the M3 hub becomes available to do that. Personally, I love using this sensor in Apple home and overall have gotten great results we'll talk about in a minute, but it's not 100% perfect. There are a few drawbacks you wanna consider comparing this to other matter motion sensors. Now, one thing you'll notice off the bat with this motion sensor in Apple Home is that it appears as an occupancy sensor, not a motion sensor. Now, the P1 appears as a motion sensor. Now, practically, this doesn't make any difference. It's still a PIR motion sensor, so if you stand very still in front of it, it'll register no occupancy. It's not like a car's FP2 sensor, which does true occupancy sensing over millimeter wave, but that requires constant USB-C power as well as a connection to Wi-Fi. This sensor is much smaller, of course uses thread as we discussed, and runs on battery. Now, we'll talk more about the battery in a minute, but so far the performance of this sensor is like I would expect from any matter motion sensor. It works reliably and communicates quickly with the rest of my Apple home. I think motion sensors like this are great to use to automate accent lighting. So you can get an LED light strip to light up when motion happens around this device. And then of course the accent lights turn off when there's no motion. And that's a great way to just add some ambiance when other lights are on, but then also give you a way to see around in the dark if everything else is off. But with the performance being right on par with other matter motion sensors I've tried, I think the important thing to consider here is the form factor. The great thing about the form factor of the P1 and now the P2 from Akara is that it comes with this little pedestal design. And if you buy the in-store version of it, which should retail for around $34.99 US, you actually get two of these pedestals in the box. So it makes it easier to reuse it over time because you can remove the adhesive of one pedestal and then attach a fresh one that you've kept in your drawer. And the placement and direction of motion sensors like this matters so much to get the results you want. And so to have a pedestal like this that you can then rotate or turn the sensor up or down 
to get really any kind of angle you're looking for makes a big difference. I also love how small this motion sensor is relative to some competition because you can easily mount it, let's say, underneath a shelf or underneath a piece of furniture. It can detect feet moving across the floor and you're never gonna notice it. Now, that said, there are some downsides to this form factor because this small size means that I find it tricky to replace the batteries. You have to use a screwdriver and sort of pry open the case and then they're inside there buried in this kind of weird plastic casing you have to reassemble once you've gotten the new batteries in. Also, it exclusively uses sticky pads to attach to a wall or furniture. So you can't use something like a nail or a screw in the wall in order to hang it, which might be better if you're trying not to damage the paint on furniture or walls. A car's adhesive works well and on a good day can be removed without removing any paint with it. But in my experience, sometimes it can take away a little bit of stuff. It's not completely non-stick adhesive. Now, if you compare it to Eve's Matter Motion Sensor, that has much easier to replace batteries with a slide off battery door and AAA batteries, which should be much easier to find, at least here where I live. And it has a nice little hole for a screw or nail to mount it on the wall that way. But, you have a much bigger sensor, which is harder to hide underneath furniture, and it can't rotate in all of the different directions that the pedestal allows you to do with the Acara sensor. So think about your use case, and if you're trying to mount this on a wall in a hallway where you just want it to cover a broad area, maybe something like Eve's matter motion sensor would be better. But if you're trying to mount this in a very discreet place, let's say under furniture or shelves, then I think the Acara P2 sensor could work very well. Now, if you already have the P1 or Acara's original motion sensor, should you upgrade to the new P2? I don't think it's really worth it. Those motion sensors will still continue to work with Acara's Zigbee hubs and will be supported on into the future as best we can tell. But if you're buying a new Acara motion sensor, I think it's worth, let's say, the added maybe five to $10 US premium over the P1 version to get the new P2 version with thread because you get the flexibility of thread and matter while also getting a more future-proof device that's working with newer smart home technology. This P2 motion sensor is available now and linked in the description. Now, I think the best use of a motion sensor like this is for accent lighting. And I recently reviewed the new Govi Neon Rope Lights, which came out at CES this year and just started shipping. So my review for that is linked somewhere here on the screen. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.